Hey guys, thanks for checking out Venue. In this five minute video, I'm gonna show you how to get started on Venue, and by the end of the video, you're gonna be ready to host an interactive live stream for hundreds or thousands or even tens of thousands of people. To get started, you're gonna to wanna to sign up at www.venue.live. Now once you've done that, you'll be welcome to your new creator dashboard. The first thing I like to do is click the logo in the top left corner and then settings and there I can customize my organization's logo and colors. Team is where you can add other admins and creators for the organization. Admins can add and remove members and have access to information across all your events and additional features like billing. Creators can create their own events and manage producers and speakers. You'll also want to come back to your dashboard after your first event to retrieve the event recording and reporting. Now let's get started. Click create new event and set a name and a date and time. You'll be able to start using your event right away. The date and time just makes sure that your attendees calendar invites are correct and lets us know when to start and stop the recording and reporting. Now that that's done, your event is created. Your invite link is what you can safely share to have others join your event. For example, by adding it to a calendar invite or dropping it in a Slack channel where it's gonna unfurl real nice. I like to copy it now and customize my event a bit more before sharing it out. Producers are the heroes of interactive live streams. They can customize the event in advance, set up agendas, move people on and off stage, add multimedia, play music, change emojis, and so much more. You can definitely be both the producer and the talent but really many people find it easier to share the producer responsibilities with teammates so they can focus on delivering content to their audience. So since this is a new account, you're gonna to wanna to add an email in here, click the email, then add a name, then save, then okay, and they'll be sent an invite to this event. And when they enter, they're gonna have the full production tools. Now, as more people start attending your events, you'll be able to more easily find them by name right in here. Speakers are the people that you know will be part of the live video stream at some point of the event. Anyone in the audience can come on stage with live video and we'll just ask for their camera and microphone permissions on demand. But speakers get three special things. We're gonna get their camera and microphone set up as they enter the event so that they're ready to go whenever. They're gonna be able to access a backstage chat channel with the producers and they'll be able to control a slide deck while they're on stage. So there's no more next slide please at your events. Now let's enter event and start making this venue event your own. You'll notice there's nothing to download or install. So the first time that you enter an event, we're gonna just double check your internet connection and speakers, and we're gonna remember this going forward. Click here, click here, and we're in. Welcome to your first event on Venue. The first time you join an event in an organization, you'll be asked to complete your profile. Let's do that now. You'll also be able to pre-fill the profiles of your speakers and audience if you wanted to. You'll see my avatar updated down here now. That's the audience row. If we had tens or hundreds or thousands of people here, all the profile pictures would be added and you'd be able to scroll through them all and check out who was here with you now. The best way to get to know Venue is to just work your way down the right-hand side menu. You can always hover over the icons to learn more about what they do, and trust me, after your first event, you'll know them all by heart. So first up, we have chat. Chat is where it's at in a Venue event, and you can leave messages, emoji reactions, GIFs, view profiles, and more. As a producer, you'll also be able to moderate the chat and bring your chat into the stream with this megaphone. I'll show you that in just a moment. Producers and speakers are able to access a backstage chat channel here if needed. Now, you'll notice this thin line. That's what separates what your audience can see above from your private producer tools below. The producer tools are the tools that you're gonna to use to take your event to the next level. Spaces is the first producer tool. We've created a few spaces for you to use to get started and you'll also be able to create more. Let's move to the main stage now. You'll see that the pre-event is still live, which means anyone who has joined the event will still be there, and anyone who does join will land there, and they won't move until you bring them individually or as a group to the main stage. Now here's how you make the main stage live when you are ready to go. One of the unique things about Venue is that our events are producer-led and not audience-led. That means that this concept of spaces and navigations is just for us to understand. It will be invisible to your audience and it will just feel like they're watching an interactive show and their screen will automatically update to the space that you bring them to. Now that we're in the main stage, you can see that our next producer tools have changed. The stage queue is where you can add your planned speakers so they can be easily brought on and off the stage. This helps you manage the focus of the event. You can have as many people as you like in the speaker queue and bring up a dozen speakers at a time on the stage if you needed to, 
though we typically find most events never have more than three or four people on stage at once, even if you will have dozens of presenters participating over the course of the event. When you add someone to the speaker queue, they're going to be asked if they want to join the stage the first time. They will complete this flow, and then they'll be ready to go for the rest of the event. You can mouse over their picture to verify their system, and if there are any issues, you can use the menu here to refresh and recheck and communicate if needed in the backstage chat. Now let's get some live video on the stage. As a producer, you'll be able to simply bring people on stage by clicking bring on stage. Whenever someone on stage, they'll be able to configure their own devices here on the left-hand side. And as a producer, you'll be mostly working on the right-hand side. Bringing someone off stage is just as easy. Off, on. The next producer tool is the share tab. Producers can share their screens without being on stage from here, but even better than sharing your screen is to add content from down here. You can upload PDFs, videos, images, animations, and more, which can then be launched with the click of a button. PDF control can be shared across producers and with speakers who are on stage. Producers can also manage the stage layout of the event. If you have both speakers and shares up on the stage, these simple production tools allow you to control where the speakers are in relation to the shared content. The size and shape of their video, you can even go into a podcast mode and do voiceover only. Once your stage is live, the audience can express themselves through the emoji cannon. You can hide the cannon, swap between our default presets during the show, or even create your own custom presets. We support custom emojis, so you can upload your custom emojis from Slack right into Venue. If you want to start a celebration, check out our Start Celebrating button. The Music tab lets you broadcast music to the audience that can be heard in all spaces, except breakout rooms. You can choose from our six tracks or upload your own MP3s to make the playlist. It's perfect for hyping up the atmosphere as the audience files in before a meeting begins. The Custom Theme tab is the spot where you can change the theme colors and change backgrounds. You can upload your own backgrounds or even choose from a stock image library. Make the space your own. Now the changes reflect to the audience in real time, so you can even create a different vibe for each section of your agenda. All right, that's it for this venue quick start video, but there are so many more features to explore and we're always adding new ones too. So definitely play around and explore the tools to come for more surprises. And if you're feeling nervous, that's totally normal. The best way to overcome that is just to start organizing your first real event. The moment you've run the first one, you're gonna be an expert. And if you have any questions, check out the links in this video's description for more help. All right, VJ, let's break the internet together.